Hey guys, GP here. The, this video will be the start of a formation guide series where I give you my opinion and uh, mention my beliefs of the strengths and weaknesses of the certain formation uh, I'll be doing. So I'll start explaining to you guys the strengths and weaknesses of the formation and then do a squad builder of that formation showing you some gameplay and some goals. So uh, today I'll be reviewing 4411. It's a formation that has uh, the two standard left and right backs, two center backs, a left mid, a right mid, and two center mids. Uh, lastly, it has a center forward and a striker. Uh, I'd have to say that the 4-4-1-1 formation is actually a very, very good formation defensively because you have the midfield and, uh, and the back can get clustered heavily with all your players. So going through that is kind of a mess. And it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent, which can cause them to lose the ball, obviously. Uh, Attacking-wise, I'd say that the formation is... Um, it's not that good at it. I mean... To attack well with it, you have to get the center mids and the left and right mids. They have to have a high attacking work rate, or else you only have the striker trying to trying to score goals. So if the uh, if the midfielders have a high attacking work rates, they can assist the striker to score. Uh, I found myself often enough crossing the ball into the box and trying to get uh, trying to head it in or take long shots and then make my opponent concede corners. So then I could head it in after that. Uh, if you get better at long passing, if you're really good at long passing, this formation does work pretty well, however, because you have five fit midfielders who can support that one striker. So if you know how to break apart a defense at, through passing and whatever, this, this formation works perfectly. That's another thing. Uh, you have to have a decent quality striker in this formation if you want it to work. Because the whole formation pretty, pretty much relies on the on the striker, to, to score, he's got to have a decent. He's got to have decent pace, like around 80 or something at minimum. He's got to have decent heading. It doesn't have to be amazing heading, but I mean, he has to. He has to be capable of heading and, of course, finishing. One thing I did realize about this formation, however, is that it's a lot worse in this formation if your center backs have a high attacking work rate compared to others because you don't have any center mids to help uh, center defensive mids to help relieve some of the, the your opponents attacking to relieve some of the pressure yeah you do have you do have center mids but you, you have to remember that they have to have a high attacking work rate so that they won't be in the uh, so th so that they they'll be able to help our um, your uh, strikers so they won't be ha be able to defend or help defend because they're they're pretty much going to be up the pitch so so you'll see in my squad builder that I don't have the overpowered David Luiz because of his high attacking work rate. So, and um, I tried using David Luiz and I would often get caught on the break because he'd be up the pitch with the other the other center back and uh, I would get screwed over. So, uh, And of course I had no center defensive mids to help the, the center back and there, there was no other midfielders helping me out. So I'll show you guys a squad builder that now that worked for me. So the first thing we have uh, is uh, goalie. So uh, uh, I picked Joe Hart. He's pretty good all around. He's got 86 diving, 87 reflexes, 81 position. He's pretty solid. I mean, a lot of people like to use Peter Check, but um, I don't know. I, I just find his reflexes let him down, and there's just, there's shots that Joe Hart would save, and uh, Check lets them in. So uh, Joe Hart. Uh, next. For the center backs I have Kabul. Kabul's got 77 pace, 80 defending, 83 heading. So you can't get much better than that, to be honest. So then after that you got uh, uh, Kashilni. Yeah, it's not very uh, it's not very popular, but uh, with this formation you really have to have defenders who don't have a high uh, Attacking work rates, because then you can really get uh, you can really uh, get caught on breakaways and whatever. So he's got 74 pace, 81 defending, 81 heading. He's pretty solid. He's got a medium attacking work rate, and he's got a high defensive work rate, so it's perfect. For left back, uh, you have uh, Jose Enrique. Enrique. Uh, I mean, the side uh, he's faster than Ashley Cole, and yeah, his defending is not as good, but I like them a lot. Uh, I had Clichy before, but Cle what happens with Clichy is that uh, he's got a high attacking work rate. So what happens is, is you often get caught on the wings. So I, I have Enrique here. 
Then uh, for the right back we have Walker, he's got 91 pace, so always keeps up, and, you know, you see he's saved me on breakaway sometimes. Then uh, for right mid I have Valencia, um, I could have put the Walcott, Walcott since he has like 96 pace, but uh, the thing is Walcott has no strength whatsoever and his passing is, is not as good as Valencia's, and in this formation you really have to... A lot of passing and long passing going on, so if you're if you if you don't have that much strength and you're really bad at passing, it's not gonna work out too well. So then uh, I have Toure. I mean, he's pretty uh, pretty solid all around. He's got 92 strength. Uh, you can see his stats. He's got 77 passing, 83 defending, 84 heading. He's made some really good interceptions in the games that I've played, and he really relieves some some of the pressure from uh, off my defenders. So the next I wasn't sure, but I chose Nazari. I really had to think a lot about this. Um, I've chosen Na Nazari because he has a high attacking work rate. So the thing is, is he, he serves in helping out uh, during the attacking runs. The, this formation, it's, it's pretty decent at making attacks, but it's not as good as like 4 one 2 one 2 or 4-3-3. So when, with, the, with Nazari as a center mid, he'll usually run up and he'll, and he'll help assist goals. And then uh, for the left mid, I have Ashley Young. I mean, he's he's fast. He can make passes. He's decent at crossing, and he's got 85 dribbling. I mean, he's very very good. Then for uh, my center forward, we have Wayne Rooney. A uh, little bit on the expensive side. Well, back in the day, was expensive, not as much anymore. I mean, his shots are very good. He's got a very good passing. I think they've underrated his uh, passing uh, trait. I think he's uh, a lot more stronger than... Uh, he's got a lot better passing uh, skills than that. And he's got pretty good... And his strength is pretty good. And then finally, uh, for striker, we have uh, Robin Van Persie. I mean, what more do I have to say? It's Robin Van Persie. This guy's got 89 shots. I love it. You know, he takes a shot, and it, if he's in the box probably going in like all around uh, all around the striker and uh, even in that's the other thing it says that he has 68 heading but in game he's a lot better than that he's I've scored some nice headers with him already Get on the case. Get high, Paul. 